You see, the thing is, man, let me tell you something real quick. You guys, you niggas don't get it, man. And until you get it, your life is always going to be the same, man. I just uploaded a video about self-improvement and how you can improve your lives by being competitive. And nobody liked it. I took it down. I take it down. You know what? I don't want a lot of you guys coming by my new channel. Especially if you guys don't like videos and stuff like that. That pisses me off. You know, that a lot of you guys are under, like, on the under haters, man. I try to make your life a lot better than what it is by giving you the info that you need so you can get pussy, so you can be attractive. And let me tell you, a lot of you guys are useless. And I can see it. So if I know if I can see it, a lot of these females can see that you motherfuckers are useless. When you sneeze at self-improvement, that says something about yourself. That makes me think that a lot of you guys are straight up just sore losers. This channel is going to come to an end. I don't see no money in this channel. Matter of fact, this channel is a liability. This channel is not making my life better. You know what I'm saying? It's not doing anything for my life. And a lot of you guys, you can unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck. You motherfuckers are not, you know, giving me uh, 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 donations or I'm not even getting ad revenue. I'm not even getting nothing for this channel. You know what I'm saying? I lost a few subscribers in the last, what, a couple of days because I speak on self-improvement and a lot of you guys don't want to hear it till you run away from that shit. That makes you a coward. A lot of you motherfuckers is cowards. I try to help you niggas. I try to help you niggas and lead you motherfuckers to water. You turn around and spit in my face by not even liking my video. When I say something like bad about women, you motherfuckers like the video. I get about 12 or 13, 14 likes. Okay? But when I say something about, you know, self-improvement and attractive females, I barely get any likes. I don't hardly get no comments. A lot of you niggas going to be in this incel lifestyle forever. Forever. You're never going to get out. Without self-improvement. And you guys are hating on the fact that I am attracting attractive women. I upload a video about me and my crushes and I get a few dislikes. Why are you hating on me? Why? Why are you hating on me? I earned this shit. I work my ass off in that gym. This is something that I work for. I work for the, uh, t the attention of females. I earned it. I got off my ass and I worked. And I worked out in the gym. I put that blood, sweat, and tears in the gym like a champion. And I'm, 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 see the thing is, I'm benefiting I'm getting the benefits from that shit. I'm getting the benefits of that shit. I put the hard work and dedication in it. And when females see me, they see me as a champion. They see a champion. And when I tell you motherfuckers, I get choosing signals you want to put down the hate. You want to dislike the video. Who will fucking dislike the last video that I just put up? The self-improvement video. 
the video with me enjoying the fucking fruits of my fucking labor. My labor. And you niggas lives are going to keep on being the same for the next years to come. Because you don't want to change. You don't want to self-improve. You could dislike this video all you want to, but that's not going to change your life. You could dislike videos all you want to. Keep on disliking them. It's not going to change your life at all. I changed my life for the better. I cut down on the alcohol for the better. I basically quit alcohol now. I fucking quit before. But I went back to using it. And I saw how alcohol had an effect on my face, on my on my looks. So nowadays, it's all about face. Okay? If it's all about face nowadays, I cannot fuck up my face by drinking alcohol. Because it's too competitive in this dating market out here. And we got these haters, these motherfucking dirty ass simps. These dirty ass motherfucking undercover simps. Because, you know, if you were attractive, you know you'll be a simp. You'll be a pussy worshiper. I don't worship pussy. I enjoy women. Yes, I do. I enjoy the attention from women. I get it. I get attention from women now. I wasn't always getting attention from women. For Like, when I was younger, yes. When I got into my 30s, no. For the, for the most years of my 30s, I was deprived of women's attention. And I figured it out. And I got out here and I fucking did what I had to do. I earned it. I was good. I had faith in myself. I believed in myself. I knew that I could fucking become attractive again. If I did certain things. But a lot of you niggas out here. Player hating niggas. Want to keep motherfuckers down. You want to keep motherfuckers like me down. And I know you exist. That's the reason why I work so goddamn hard. When I'm lifting weights. I'm thinking about you hating ass niggas. I'm like, oh, fuck that. I'm about to get these weights beasted. Fuck these hating ass niggas. I'm about to beast on these fucking weights. I'm going to be the best that I can be. You know, I got eights all in my face. Sevens and eights. Oh, my God. You got muscles. Oh, you're cute. And, oh, in my face now. You know, I went to be celibate. By choice, because I felt like I can focus better without indulging in pussy. Because I can go out and get laid now. By choice. I can go out to a bar or club and get some pussy. I can do that now. All I gotta do is go rent a hotel downtown and bring the bitch back to my fucking hotel. I had plenty of chances to do that. But I didn't have money for a hotel. But I got a lot of action in the fucking club. Or even... Kissing on broads. Hugging on broads. You know what I'm saying? Because I told you, Dick. I told you, motherfuckers. You motherfuckers don't listen. I said, man, lower the body fat percentage so your face can be more attractive. You niggas don't fucking hear me. All you hear is bickering and arguing. A lot of you niggas gonna be... I mean, a lot. Of you, all you hear is bickering and arguing about women, dude. All you hear about... All you hear is fucking of women, women nature, this women nature, that women are this, this and that. That's the reason why you niggas lives are shit because you so fucking hard headed. A lot of you niggas is hard headed. Fuck you motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to go after mine in life. I'm going to become a winner and a fucking champion. Matter of fact, I am a winner and a champion now. I wish you guys could see that fucking ache that's fucking all over me in the gym. A lot of motherfuckers hating on me in the fucking gym too. Fuck you motherfuckers. I'll spit on your motherfucking ass. Fuck you motherfuckers. You got my motherfucking blood pressure up. You know what I'm saying? I work my ass off. I work my motherfucking ass off. I work my motherfucking ass off. I'm a real fucking man, man.
a real fucking alpha male. Alpha male, man. And none of you motherfuckers gonna take me, take nothing from me. You ain't gonna take nothing from me. None of you motherfuckers. I wish you motherfuckers would run up on me in real life. I break your fucking jaw in. I be up on that shit, and I'll hit your motherfucker. And I'm I'm twice as three times as strong and I, as I usually am when I'm on the shit. I'll hit your motherfucking jaw so hard that your own fucking dog won't recognize you. Your mama won't recognize you. I put in the work. I got more choosing signals last night from the girl at IHOP. She loves me. She, he, Her face lit up when she saw me. She was like, hi. Her eyes got really big just like that. She loves me. Only the only reason why I haven't really went after her like I wanted to because I'm working. The chick in the gym, I went after her because I don't have to deal with her around my work. So I'm not going to lose anything if I get at her in the gym. But all my life, a lot of niggas like you, motherfuckers who... Who hate on me. All my life you have tried to keep me down. Crabs in the fucking barrel mentality. That's what a lot of you motherfuckers have. That's why a lot of you motherfuckers in public. I can smell you. I know what you're about. And I have to compete against your motherfucking ass. Let the motherfucking games begin. Let the motherfucking games begin. I'm going to be on top before I die. I put that on my, my, my mother's grave. I put that on everything. You niggas ain't going to take shit from me. Fuck you lazy motherfuckers who don't want to self-improve. Fuck you motherfuckers.